Well, hello. Today I would like to tackle a problem that was actually given to me by a fellow engineer. Uh, the most fun that you ever have in this business, in my view, is to solve real problems that come from real folks. So the person that I was talking to had a desire to have a plot of the cross-sectional area of an object as the uh, as a plane was moved through that project. And so the project is probably proprietary and all of that. So what I did was I created a wing, as you can see, and the wing has a datum plane. And the datum plane intersects that wing. And as per usual, I created a user expression called L. And as you can see, when I say L equals 10, the little section moves down there. When L equals, let's say, 0.1, it's all the way up at the top. So when L equals 18, or L equals, let's say, it's 17.9, uh, then as you can see, that's the very end of it. And this section uh, moves back and forth. Great. Then I did a measure uh, expression. Uh, the way you do that is you say analysis measure and you select for face and you set up for, uh, for the uh, face results filter, but you make sure that you say associative. And associative ensures that when you take the cross-sectional area, it makes a variable that you can read in the expressions editor. If I go to control E, you can see there's my area measurement 1.128 and that is at all the way at the tip of this blade and if I take L and I make it 0.1 let's say then if I say control E you can see that the area is now 4.77 and so that's the whole uh, idea of this um, this method now what I want though is a plot a smooth plot um, all through the length of this so my um, my uh, beginning of the plot will be uh, area as opposed to length and we'll start at 0 0.01 and we'll go all the way to 17.99 and um, we'll find a plot. So the way to do that then, um, and this is not known to everyone who uses NX, um, there is so much in NX, it's a vast program, but if you go to Tools, Spreadsheet here, then as soon as you click on the spreadsheet, the, uh, there's an Excel spreadsheet that takes control of your computer. Remember in the old days uh, with the Twilight Zone, they says, we're in control of your television set. <laughs> well, there's a reference that not a lot of people will get. Anyway, um, so what we have here then is a way of going into uh, the add-ins. We go to the add-ins. And the very first thing we do is extract expressions, extract expressions. And what we get is all the expressions that are in the part. All we really care about is area and the length expression. So I'm going to delete everything else. And then we do this thing called a goal analysis. Love this thing. Um, but then again, uh, most of you who have been watching these little videos know that I am a serious nerd. I just love this stuff. I think it's so powerful and mathematical and elegant in its construct. It's just amazing to me. Anyway, um, so we're going to go to uh, goal analysis. Here it is, goal analysis. And what we get is this little nifty box. We have a cell that we're varying. So we're varying that length, and that's cell B3. B3. We have a target cell. There's the target. B2 is the area. B2. We have a lower bracket for what we're putting in the variable cell. I'm going to say that's 0.1. And we have an upper bracket, which I will say is 17.9. We don't have to get much closer than that. I'm just afraid that if we go all the way to 18 or, 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 or we start at zero, then it'll be a cross section that's so close to the end that it might have some mathematical ambiguity. Um, that's fine. Uh, then we... Uh, select the number of steps. If it's got to be a really fine plot, you have a whole bunch of steps. It's Excel, you know, you let it go, walk away, have a ham sandwich, and <laughs> you're all set to go. Uh, or peanut butter and jelly. Um, 
I'm going to just do 10 sections so that the video is uh, a little shorter and uh, it makes the point anyway. And then I, and it, and this, you've got to have this little check on that says perform NX update. So then you simply say, okay, and you watch the fireworks. You can actually see that it is going to make these ordered pairs. It's going to keep moving the uh, section down the uh, blade and um, it's uh, putting the, uh, the response in column F. It's kind of uh, cut off by half, but you can see how this is getting populated. So uh, we're doing what, 10 sections, and this is the last section. And then we have some data. Once the data is over, you can see that there's a plot that kind of comes up automatically and you can see a beautiful plot of all the data. It comes in a, another column, if you will, or another page of the spreadsheet. If we go back to the original, there's all of the uh, ordered pairs, so to speak. So you've got all those and you've got the chart. It's automatically done. That's a fantastic uh, technique in NX. So my name is Steve Samuel from Design Visionaries. If you enjoyed this video, please Give it a like and share it with your friends and a million of your friends. <laughs> and um, please subscribe to our channel.